I think en enough people need to know about what's happening and unless the decision's already been made and then we're stuck. It, it, it's criminal what they do in the area. When you think of Merthyr now these days, you think of a run-down, deprived area. And uh, it has run down over the years, obviously. But you've only got to go back 30 to 40 years. And Merthyr was quite a thriving town. Now that we've lost the manufacturing base here in Merthyr, we're left with very high unemployment, high sickness, uh, low life expectancy. And we've seen very much as a soft target. Every valley in the South Wales coal field, I mean, have been exploited to, to, to a great extent. You know, a lot of minerals, the minerals are gone, the money's gone with it. Not a great deal put back in, you know. Over the last decade, Merthyr has suffered at the hands of some very short-sighted schemes. As you can see over here, we've got an open cast coal mine, a massive open cast coal mine there, uh, called Fossafran. Over the top of the mound there, we've got the Tricati landfill site. And now Covanta, an American uh, incinerator company, wants to build a large uh, incinerator down on the plain there. This incinerator will be massive and will affect the communities across the two valleys here, all according to what the weather conditions and the, the direction of the wind will be. The size of this plant is absolutely massive. It's as big or bigger than the Millennium Stadium. The stack height will be 385 foot off the top of that uh, plateau there. And that plateau is sitting at about 1200 foot above sea level. The main thing, of course, is the, anything that comes out of this plant will directly go into the food chain and uh, it could be quite devastating, the long-term effect. Cavanta will be burning 750,000 tonne of waste a year. They are planning probably to bring 50% of it in by road. Um, that means over 300 lorry movements a day. The road infrastructure in Merthyr will not cope with that amount of lorry movements. government has prepared a national policy statement which sets out what new power stations will get built across the UK over the coming decades. Once this gets passed it will be very difficult to argue against anything that gets defined as a power station like this massive incinerator, whatever local people, local politicians or even the Welsh government think about it. One of the worst things is that this proposal is being spun as bringing jobs to the local area but there'll only be 65 long-term jobs and only a fraction of those going to local people. Our research shows that about 3,000 new jobs could be created in Merthyr and the surrounding Heads of the Valleys area through high recycling and home energy efficiency. There's great potential for green jobs in Merthyr and we don't want dirty industries chasing them away. The IPC process is a fast-track planning process, which means local um, opposition has very, very little say. In fact, they can override any local opposition, they can override any local authority opposition and Welsh Assembly government opposition. Cavanta submitted their proposal on the 31st of December and because the consultation on Cavanta's behalf had been so ineffective we decided to take it out to the communities ourselves. Within four weeks we managed to set up committee meetings all over the valleys and we now have ten communities who have their own committees and we managed to get ten and a half thousand people to register their interest um, either online or by actually filling in the form with us.
come down from various villages surrounding the Muthu Tidville area to campaign against this monster incinerator and to tell them that we do not want it and they can take it back. Almost everybody I've spoken to is against the idea but they've only heard about it from community meetings or groups and from the neighbour or whatever. There's no, been no proper official impartial workshops, displays, public meetings for people to find out. We don't believe in incineration and we don't believe in uh, the IPC process. We think we've got a government in Wales and they should be making a decision on this. There are people who never ever got to get involved in anything political or um, anything, you know, campaigning. And we've got young mothers coming in, we've got middle-aged ladies chairing their own community sessions. It's absolutely amazing. People are finding that they can do things they never ever thought possible.